things is like you always gotta bring food with you because now I'm hungry and I forgot to eat like anything and we are in a very far away park last time what happened to me is that it was a very cold day and I forgot to bring socks and I was really cold so I couldn't concentrate on doing anything because all I want is to get some socks and be warm so please always bring snacks with you We all see them hopping around spring season, but truthfully, they are a year-round parkour jumpers. Yes, I'm talking about the Eastern Cotton Tail Rabbit. Widely distributed across the Americas, they are still confined to particular regions. Their nests are called forms and these provide homes for three liters at least per year. The size ranges from two to eight babies depending on the weather and location and other factors. After giving birth, the mom only visits and nurses the babies twice a day to avoid exposing the form. Their milk is so rich that twice a day is enough to feed the babies. When these guys get scared, they freeze. They start running as a last resort, running up to 18 miles per hour for a half mile. They almost have a 360 degree vision with a 10 degree wide blind spot in front of them. They also have a great sense of smell with about 100 million scent receptors in their twitching noses, as we can see here, that can spot predators. If you ever happen to find a blue pea print with scats, that was probably a cottontail rabbit that ate European buckthorns berries. This phenomenon occurs despite the fact that they eat twigs and barks instead of the blueberries. I found it curious how that still affect the color of the urine printed in snow. Plus, I thought this was a cool fun fact to feature in this video. They are born without fur, and just like the beavers, the cottontail rabbits have a never-ending growing teeth. The grass, in fact, helps them to maintain certain length. They do not hibernate, so you can see them during winter. As strange as this might sound, many wild rabbits do not eat root vegetables. So carrots should be an occasional treat. According to Laffy Bear Vet, Cottontail's favorites are white and crimson clovers, bahia grass, barley, wheat, and winter peas. In the winter season, they eat woody parts of the plants like the twigs and the bark of the rambles, birch, oak, dogwood, and maple trees. They can weigh up to 54 ounces and reach 18 inches in height. They are cataloged as the least concern and population increasing according to the IUCN Red List, which is good news for us. The lifespan is about two years, and that's because of the importance of their role in this urban ecosystem. You see, these herbivores support the diet of many mammals, reptiles and raptors, such as coyotes, mountain lions, foxes, snakes, birds of prey, and even us, humans. And so their presence is very much needed because they sustain the life of so many. Next time you see these urban landscape hoppers jumping in your backyard, remember how essential their presence is to the rest of us. <laughs>